Now that we have our dynamically linked table of contents, let's look at how we could make some changes. So if we want to change the name of this section, we click, we right click here and rename the section, not on the slide itself, in the actual navigation bar on the side here. So instead of overview, we can call it introduction, rename, and there you go. It's automatically updated in here. Let's look at how we could play with different layouts or styles. This is all part of the agenda functionality. Go to agenda options and you can choose to either have a topic style of slide or an agenda style of slide. We are currently using topic style, which just shows the title on the slide. If we switch to agenda style and I go back here, you'll see that it looks like the table of contents, but it highlights the section that we are in. So you can see that this is a very nice way to guide the reader through your presentation so that they can see what section they're in, but they can also see, as in the case further down, where they've been previously and where they're headed next. One more feature is that if you wanted to add a subsection, you could click right click on valuation here and then click demote section and it becomes a subsection of introduction. And if we want to switch it back, we simply promote the section. So this is very well thought out and very well organized. Let's take a look at the Macabacus library. We're going to open up this library dialog on the side, and you can see that there are all sorts of categories. For example, we can create some template slides. These are various saved slides that are added to the library and can be inserted into the presentation. If they're updated in the library later, you'll be prompted in the presentation to see if you want to refresh to the newer version. You can also add uh, Google material icons. You can format these as well to be your brand colors. You can add in logos. You can save whatever logos you might want to be accessing here. Here's a nice collection of, uh, we could call these collector item logos. Uh, you've got sample charts as well that you can insert uh, directly into the presentation or you could do it from Excel as we showed you earlier in the course. So the library is a place that you'll want to invest some time in building out and getting together all of the assets that you'll need to quickly create presentations in the future and then share that internally with your team members. Let's take a look now at this master shapes section. Say we want to add a sticky note. It, this automatically inserts a red box in the top right corner. This is where we might put a note like a slide that we want to delete, for example, uh, or a note to draft or something like that that we really want to highlight. So it's a very fast way to automatically insert that. We can also explore this idea of stamps. Say we want to insert confidential on every slide in the presentation and it's actually in the layout or the format of the slide so it cannot be inadvertently deleted by someone you'd have to go in here and uncheck that to remove it you could also add draft of course or for internal use only or or whatever and you can even make your own custom stamp another thing that you can do is add section titles so section titles here are for example introduction um, that's being shown throughout this underneath the titles in all that section. So Master Shapes is a great way of quickly adding things throughout the presentation. I particularly love the stamps function. Now let's take a look at the Macabacus proofing tools. These are very powerful. We've opened up a presentation here that's pretty banged up on purpose so that we can see how it will find all the issues. Let's click the proofing button. It's going to open up the proofing pane and we can see a list here right away of things that it's flagging for us that are issues in the presentation. So we're going to go through these and take a look and see what it finds for us. We can simply click on any of these to see what's actually happening in the presentation. So this may have been hard to see with the untrained eye but there's actually an inconsistency here with a period at the end of the third bullet and none of the other bullets. And we can actually just fix that right, right here. 
we can either remove the one that contains the period or we can add periods to the other one. So let's remove that. And there we go, we've solved that issue. We can see here repeated word, which we can fix. Here's another one that is really exciting is, and it's because it's very hard to find on your own, is an inconsistent abbreviation for millions or billions or what have you. Okay, so you can do double M lowercase as a very common form of indicating millions or single capital M or whatever you prefer, but that's something that this tool can find for you. It's quite powerful. If we double click here, we see that someone's opened a bracket but has not closed it. We can see here that the slash spacing is inconsistent. So there are many, many things that we can find and fix here using this Macabacus proofing tool. It's very powerful. Let's look for bullet size inconsistency. You see that here? And look, we can just fix that, make them all the same size super easily. We can see here there's an issue with fill colors. It's not from our predefined color palette, which means it may not be a proper brand color. Here you go. Here's an inconsistent font color. Image distorted. You can see that the scale is not equally adjusted on the vertical and horizontal axis. That's something we can just fix right here. There you go, it's back to the right scale. So there's a lot of stuff to explore here. This is a super powerful way to make sure that your presentation is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for joining us for this course. Macabacus is CFI's proprietary add-in for Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. We use it to help analysts be more productive and improve their brand compliance, which is to say their formatting of their presentations and their financial analysis. This is supported across Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. By going to your student dashboard in CFI, you are eligible for a free trial of our Macabacus software. Simply go to your dashboard, install it, play around with it. You'll see how much better and faster it makes you as a financial analyst and we hope it helps you in your journey to becoming a world-class financial analyst. Thanks again for joining us for this Macabacus Essentials course.